So you've got a patient with hyperkalemia or high potassium. What are the key things to think about in terms of numbers? And the wide variety is what's considered high. Generally around 5.5 is definitely considered high. 6.5 is your severe or emergency type levels. One of the first things to think about is could this be raised due to artifacts or things like hemolysis in the bottle? Sometimes worth repeating depending on how high you find it. What could be causing it if it is high? Renal problems, things like renal failure can lead to it. Adrenal problems, things like um, Addison's disease can lead to hyperkalemia. Acidosis in particular, things like DKA, not to forget. Tissue necrosis, things like burns, things like rhabdomyolysis, both can lead to increased levels of potassium. And of course, if you take too much potassium supplementation, for example, you can lead to a hyperkalemia. Certain medications can lead to it, of course. Don't forget ACE inhibitors, don't forget ARBs, NSAIDs, things like potassium sparing diuretics, spironolactone or amylaride. There's a few more to remember. In terms of how it may present, generally it's asymptomatic. You don't tend to feel much, but you can get problems with the heart. And that's what we worry about. Things like arrhythmias, things like VF, in particular, things like sudden death, cardiac arrest can happen. And also you can get things like muscle cramps and a few other vague non-specific things as well. In terms of ECG, we all think about peak T waves, of course, but don't forget widen QRS and don't forget small P waves as well. In terms of treatment, treat the cause generally. If you can figure out what's happening, try and treat that, of course, but you can use things like insulin, glucose combinations. You can use things like salbutamol. You need to think about protecting the heart by using calcium, for example. So there's quite a few things to think about in terms of treatment, depending if it's an emergency or if it's not an emergency. So hyperkalemia, a lot more teaching on this type of stuff in our AKT Clinical Grammar webinars and our AKT Clinical audiobooks. I hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass.